even overseas, man, you know, too, like, uh, especially in places like Yemen or Afghanistan, they'll, they'll look at people in a certain way. You can go into an area and if you're carrying yourself in a way of like, I don't think we want to mess with those guys because they look like they're trained, prepared. They look a little, uh, you know, versus if you have a 19 year old kid that's freshly shaven and it's clean uniform and he's driving a really slow Humvee, they're going to hit those dudes. They're going to hit the dudes that have the beards and um, look like they're on point and they're watching. And, you yeah. know, it's just like yeah. anything. People read stuff. And I've seen that in, um, I worked in Madrid for a while. I worked in Spain for a client and she would go out and party late at night. You know, they go out at two in the morning till five. And we are doing that kind of work in those environments at 2 a.m. is when everything changes. People are drunk, fighting in the streets, pissing, fucking in the streets. It gets really <laughs> weird after about 3 a.m. In, in places like that. Venice is the same way. And uh, I was I had my client and we had tracking devices back then. So we would track. She would go into a place and I would stay close because we got to give them some space. But I could track, which I put geo fences up. And then all of a sudden, like it would ping across the city. Um, I would get an alert like five minutes later. She's across a whole other area of Madrid. I'm like, what the fuck? So I, you know, haul my ass over there. I get a cab or whatever. And I haul my ass over to this area and I'm pulling out my tracking device. I got a map. I got, I, when I go to those environments, I don't try to be the tourist guy. I buy the backpacks they use. I buy the clothes they use. Mm -hmm. I try to not um, stand out. Um, so I get out of the car and I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm worried because this is a bad area of Madrid where she's at. I know where that is. That was an uh, area that was we looked at when we did our threat assessment where we did not want her to go. It was like the African quarter of Madrid. And this is like now three or four a.m. And I know she's down that alley. That's where she's pinging. And uh, I'm sitting there looking down and I look up. There's a group of, you know, North African refugees, whatever. And they're all just they, they see here's this dude looking at his phone. And I'm like, all right, they're, I'm going to put my shit away because they're watching me. I have to go past them to get to her. And in that line of work overseas, you're not carrying a gun. I don't care how badass you think you are if you're doing private security. Even government and working in, in Europe, good luck. You're going to have to have some very special licenses. Um, so you would carry, we carry uh, knives and, you know, certain weapons um, that weren't, uh, they weren't pistols, guns, stuff like that. But anyway, I have to go through this guy. So I'm like, she's behind them. I have to go through there. So what do I do? And they already, they already pinpointed me as kind of like, oh, this guy's a tourist or something. Cause I got my stuff out. Mm -hmm. I put up the peacock feathers, man. And just, same thing. I just walked right past him and looked at every one of them. Like, I will fucking kill you, dude. Like, I just have because I'm. I have <laughs> yeah, to get to yeah. my client. If you want to do something, I'm gonna fucking. So I, even though I was like, dude, these guys will kick my ass. There's twelve of them. Mm -hmm. I that was the only choice I had. I was like, I can't just leave her down there. I don't have a weapon. I don't have another dude with me. What's the other choice? That's the only way to go. One way down that alley, and these dudes are out right there. So I just I put up the peacock feathers sometimes, and that's why certain animals have that or certain you know you, you make yourself look bigger meaner uglier scarier than the thing that's trying to get you yeah um and you know and it worked i went by and they didn't do shit they just like i gave them the fucking crazy eyes i puffed up and just like you know yeah i got agree. that there's, look man there's definitely and, times uh, <laughs> when you have to yeah i think that works i mean you want to be the gray person you know, all the way up until there might be a threat. And then when there's a threat, then, you know, you have to project confidence and hopefully de-escalate. You're listening to Can You Survive This Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe, rate, and share on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your favorite shows.